what you call as my body is just a manifestation of five elements – earth, water, fire, air and space. If you know how to organize these five elements properly, if you know how to keep these five elements within yourself, then there is nothing more to life in terms of health, well-being, perception, knowing, everything, enlightenment. Everything is handled if only you know how to keep these five elements properly. The most fundamental practice in the yogic system, which is the basis of everything else that we are doing, is called as Bhuta Shuddhi. Bhuta Shuddhi means, you know, Bhuta means Panchabhutas or the five elements. Shuddhi means to cleanse that. If you learn to cleanse the five elements in the system, that's all there is. All other yogic practices are an extract from the five… from the Panchabhuta system of yoga. If you do a certain level of cleansing for the elements, then you attain to what's called as Bhuta Siddhi, that means you have mastery over the elements. If you have mastery over the elements, you not only have mastery over the body, over the mind, over the very creation. Seventy-two percent of your water, body is water. If this seventy-two percent of water in your body become sweet. It would be… you would be quite a wonderful person, isn't it? Yes. Another twelve percent is earth. If you make that sweet, eighty-four percent, very good percentage, isn't it? Another six percent is air. That's easy because we can control the air and create various situations. Yogic practices are there to make the air behave in a sensible way within you, ninety percent. Another four percent is fire. You can keep the fire as it is because after all you live in a society, huh? you need to burn somebody a little bit, isn't it? And you're married, so you need… sometimes you need some firefighting, isn't it? Another six percent is Akash or the space. Today once again, phenomenal amount of research has gone into what is Akash. They're talking about what's called as Akashic intelligence. Your ability to sit here is simply because the Akashic energy, the space is holding you in place. So the highest intelligence in creation is being has been recognized as the space. It is doing things which you cannot imagine. It is throwing up creation just like that. So there is a way to treat it within you and outside of you. So knowing this, the five elements, we produced a system through which you can take charge of the five elements within you. If these five elements are in your control, just whole life process is in your control. The very process of birth, living and death is one hundred percent in your control. If you take these five elements into your charge, a simple process like this can change the fundamentals of one's life if you give yourself totally to it. a process which anybody can do. It's very simple to do. Even though it's very simple, it's really powerful. When I do Bhuta Shuddhi, when I have done Bhuta Shuddhi, how my day is and how that particular time of the day is for me is very different. So you feel just completely rejuvenated after it. There's no way that I would ever miss these. They've been that, you know, that intense in my life. One thing I can clearly tell while I'm doing the process is a very uh, powerful purification that happens. 
I feel a rush of energy going inside me. The first time I did Buddha Shinti, uh, in such a subtle way, the atmosphere was completely different. This purificatory process helps one to achieve a state of harmony and balance, which prepares the body for higher levels of sadhana, enhances the capabilities of the physical body, mind and energy, creates the basis to gain complete mastery over the human system. <laughs>